let's pop open this file here and we're going to do some CSS. So what I have here in front of us, oh, look at this, introduction, chapter one, all prepared for stuff which makes my life happy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to style this very simple web page where we have a couple headers. We have header ones, we have two header ones, we have a header two, two paragraphs. We've seen this before because we know our HTML, our HTML, excuse me, and we're ready to go. So here is the CSS code right up here. There are a few ways that you can add CSS to a web page. For now, we're going to use this way here, where inside of our head tags, we add the CSS style block, opening tag, closing tag. I call it a block because it's a block of code. Just like the head here is a head block, it's a block of code. Well, this is not exactly a block, but anyway, you get the idea. So um, yeah, opening, closing. We know it's closing because of the forward slash. Of course, we've seen this before. So all this code here is CSS. It's not HTML. You may think it's a type of HTML, but it's not. You may think because it has HTML tags here, H1, H2, paragraph tag, which is a P is for paragraph, as you know. These are not HTML tags. This is not HTML. And you know it, first of all, because it's in between style tags. Anything in between this and this is going to be read by the browser as being CSS code. It's going to say, oh, this has to be CSS code because we're in between these two things here. Another thing that will point out that this is not HTML up here is that because we don't have our angled brackets around our tag names. So for instance, if we look at H1, you look down here, we know this is HTML because you got our little angled brackets like this, right? Also, we know it's proper HTML because we also have the proper closing tag. There you go. Whereas this is CSS because it just names the tag here. So what are we doing here in our CSS? Basically, we're using these tag names to select the tags in the page. Another word for select is to choose. So we could say that we're using these tag names to choose the tags in our page. So what we're saying here is for all the H1 tags in our page, we make the color orange. Now, the color we're talking about here is the text color. In CSS, instead of writing text dash color, which doesn't exist, they said, well, we'll just make it simple and we're going to make it color equals orange. So once again, we're using this CSS code to select the H1 tags in our page to make the text color orange. With this CSS code, we're selecting H2 tags and making H2 text blue. And finally, with this CSS code here, we are selecting the paragraph tags, the P tags in our page, and we're making the text gray. Let's take a look at that in real life. Let me size this so it's all um, fits in the window. As you can see, the two header ones is orange, paragraph text is gray, and the header two is blue. Let's view that with the code side by side. And here we go, H1, make it orange. You notice we have two H1 tags down here. I just wanted to make a point that when you use CSS to select a tag to style, in this case, we selected H1 here, it selects all H1s in the page, not just one. So even though we have two H1s in our page here in our, in our body, in our HTML, this CSS selects all the H1s, not just one H1. That's why I want to, uh, that's why I put two kind of crazy H1 tags here. You wouldn't have the same header twice, you know, underneath each other in a real website. Anyway, there we go.